Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Paper Mario Color Splash. Alright, I said I was going to go back to Rochambeau Temple number 2. But then I saw for a poor Prisma, there's some mail. And I didn't take care of that in the last episode, so we're going to do it now. After seeing what those bob did to the bridge before we got here... I'm not even mad that they're jumping for joy every time I cross. Hey, babe, bro! It's a me, Luigi! You know, your brother with the mustache? Have you noticed enemies muttering to themselves during battle at all? Well, sometimes they might be muttering about their insecurities and stuff. Things they're weak against, you know? Trust me, I know a little something about insecurities. Hope you're thinking about me. I'm not. Let's go. So anybody in the uh, comment section, are you guys thinking about Luigi? Let me know. What I am thinking about is going back to the temple and getting another win on my uh, record. Let's see if I can get this one on the first try, because the other one took two. Welcome to Rochambeau Temple number two! How do you guys know you're number two? The first round opponent takes pride in his sharp spikes and his hard shell. Hard shell, probably rock, and spikes mean scissors. I'd be shocked if someone shaped like the uh, second round opponent ever used scissors. Really? <laughs> so, probably using like rock or paper. So, in that case, paper will probably be the best choice. Uh, see, we're not gonna get any lead on the wizard. There's nobody sitting at the patio! All right, I'll enter. Let's do this thing. The road to victory is long and full of potholes. Will these warriors' journeys end in glory or soul-crushing humiliation? Trailblazers, you must carve your own path. Glory is forever. This is the Art of Rogue Shampoo! It looks like there's only just a bunch of lines in the crowd. Back there. And with that, the competitors will take the stage. In this corner, the lucky rookie who rocked the rock paper wizard, Mr. Mamma Mia himself, hmm, Mario! And in this corner, he's ruined many a pair of shoes. The spiky scrapper. The underfoot underling. S spiny! Mario vs. Spiny, round one. Challengers, draw your cards. Okay. So this guy's likely using rock or, rock or scissors. The only way I can't lose at all is if I use rock. See? Give me them 300 coins. I spent a lot on cards. That's why I was like, oh, 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 oh. Your second round opponent. Straight off a red eye flight is the fire eyed menace with the unbreakable shell. B -b 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 Buzzy Beetle! Round two, Mario vs. Buzzy Beetle. Challengers, draw your cards. Okay. So he's likely going to use rock or paper. Therefore, paper is the best choice. It's either a tie or a win for me if I use paper. Paper. 
700 coins. Hells yeah. That was more than what I was expecting. We're in for a treat today, friends. The Rochambeau Sorcerer himself is about to take the stage. Rock, Paper, Wizard! Round 3. Mario vs. Rock, Paper, Wizard. Challengers, set your cards! I don't have any lead on this one, but I haven't used scissors. I used rock or paper at least once. Maybe he's expecting me to use one of those again. It's a tie. Will he expect me to use scissors again? Shall see. Oh, it was rock. Ah, oh, damn it. I lost. Oh, I'll have to come back another time. Oh well. I know I could have spent some money just to challenge him again, but I'd rather keep my money. And there will be plenty of time to challenge him again, without getting far behind. So I guess we'll go to Dark Blue Inn instead. Well, it's been a while since we've been in blue territory. Oh. I thought there'd be like a side entrance over there. Maybe over here? Nothing? There's a toad. I guess we can help the toad. Thanks for saving me, Mario. I got jumped by a bunch of shy guys out of nowhere. And I just broke down and started crying. One of these days I'll toughen up and become a toad who stands up for himself. Um, good for you. Why does the hedge maze look like I was selling out a banjo kazooie? Is this in haunted? Oh, of course the world famous VIP shows up now. Look, I wish I could take your coin, Mario, but the ho hotel is closed indefinitely. You see, we've had some bizarre. Occurrences here as of late. We're really in no state to welcome guests. Sir, it happened again. Another silent phone call. See, there's a strange force at work here. I call Luigi because paranormal activity is kind of his thing. <laughs> Funny. But it went straight to voicemail. Do you think I could poke around and find what's causing all of this? I beg of you. Mario, did you hear that? Paranormal activity. Like, ghosts and junk. We should investigate. I have an inkling that this has something to do with the paint stars. And it's not just colorless spots. This place is creepy as old get out. Besides, I've always wanted to be a paranormal investigator. Ooh, we should get business cards. No. We, we carry enough cards on us as is. Okay. We don't have the inventory space for business cards. See, this wouldn't have happened if you sorted the books by color. What? Those books just flew off the shelves by themselves. I'm telling you, Mario, this place is haunted for sure. Ah! The paint revealed a ghostly presence! No way! 
Mario, are you scared? So even Mario gets scared sometimes. Don't worry, I won't tell Princess Peach. Hark! Where did that book go? I've been tearing this place apart trying to find it. For some reason, this book here is way heavier than the others. And I can't seem to move it. Oh, somebody looking for a book, huh? Hey, relax. No matter how many times I pick up the books, they just get thrown from the shelves again. Am I doomed to pick up these books over and over for the rest of my life? Maybe. You better get cracking. Oh, let me check the this room. Oh. I guess we can probably put a card here. But what exactly? What things do I have in my inventory? I got a lemon, a plunger, a lucky cat, and a fan. Well, replicas. Only the lemon is the real one. I think I'm gonna have to cancel and come back to that later. That spooky toad seems to have some unfinished business. Let's see if we can help him. I'll help him find a book. Yeah. I guess we can try that. Sure. Hey. The dining hall is through here, but the hotel is closed, so there's no one in there. Yeah, I, I, no I noticed. I was I was there. I got a phone call from room 301, but I couldn't hear anything on the other end. There isn't anyone in 301 right now. So creepy. Hey, does anyone just kind of hit the phone? I thought the paper was something you could actually deal with. I'm afraid only authorized personnel are allowed in there. I can assure you nothing strange is happening in there. Your time would be better spent elsewhere. Sounds like you're trying to hide something from me. Well, that's the elevator. What else is here? I'm the housekeeping manager. I've been doing this job for so long. I can sense when a room needs to be cleaned. But I noticed something weird recently. For some reason, dust doesn't gather under the bed in room 302. So there's something else on the third floor I'll have to look at. This must be the kitchen? No, this is just another entrance. I heard a rumor there's a rare red bird around here, so I put out some bait. I haven't seen anything though. Maybe it's just an urban legend? Maybe I just need to smash it a little bit. Give it some texture. Is there really nothing here? At all? That's weird. I think there'd be something up there. Hold on, what if I exit and re-enter? Do those boxes come back? I don't think they do. Okay, they don't. Hmm. Maybe that's not important yet. I know the point of interest is upstairs, but what if I went down? Oh, hey! This is a linen closet. But we, uh, need to sanitize the linens before they can be used. We're not doing anything weird down there, so you just forget, leave and forget you saw us. Why can't I just beat them up? Clearly shy guys are enemies here. You know what, we'll just skip the second floor and go straight to the third one. I have a feeling we'll be going to the second floor anyway. Might as well just progress as we go. Oh, 
What the? Oh, wow. I didn't even get a chance to jump. Just a bunch of mice. Oh, let's use two line jumps. I mean, I got the big one, so... Oh, I only needed one. I thought those mice would be a little bit tougher. How wrong I was. What if I go to 303 first? The hell? My beautiful red bird has flown the coop! Ah, you fixed my bird cage. Thanks ever so much. That's my red bird will come back home now. If you see my red bird around, please try to get it back in this cage. A bird cage? Thank you. Ah, damn it, it got me again. Alright, fine. Oh, I only got big line jumps now. Do I have one that's not even colored? No, but I do have a spiny. I think a spiny's enough. Get him. Good to know you're not scared of mice. This is a big spot right here. Thank you. Ah! A ghost with a creepy mustache! Oh, it's just Mario. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, you're not gonna tell anyone I'm slacking off in here, are you? There was never a white book. I need to hit it. This book was completely blank before. So I couldn't read it. But now that I can read it, it's actually really, really boring. You might enjoy this book, old timer. It's all yours. Just return to the first floor bookcase when you're done with it. Tea recipe book. You know, there was a, uh... Oh, no. Oh, my! Mm. I need my so much. I should go to the first floor and drop off that, uh, book. I thought I would need another card. See, I wish the health bar was, like, through numbers and not through color. That's why I keep making those mistakes. Okay, so this has got to be some sort of paranormal mess. See anything we can work with here? A spooky toad seems to have some unfinished business. Oh, okay. I guess we gotta go to the library. I just wanna see if there's anything to cut out. I'm not always the uh, arbiter on what could be cut out. That's why some of these videos still remain long. <laughs> Even if I do cut some things out, then maybe I can cut up more. Oh, time seems to be ticking. There you go. Say, is this the book you were looking for? Yeah, this is the book! Thanks so much! Now that I have my book, the meeting should go great! I better get to work! 
Why do you need to work? You're dead. You know, I didn't go to the second floor. I love the sound that this clock makes when it rings. No matter where you are in the hotel, you can always hear it sounding out the time. That's a weird thing to love, but okay. I haven't gone to the second floor yet, so I think now's the time to do it. I still gotta find that red bird. Put it in the bird cage. Anything in 203? Ah, it's mine! It's all mine! No! It's gone! He stole it! So what? I can't go down there myself. Maybe I gotta go into the, uh... What the hell? Stop that! I'm looking for room 201, but I can't seem to find it! Well, let me go to... The door seems to be blocked from the other side. I don't think we can get through. Okay, well, at least this floor doesn't have mice. Huh? What was that noise just now? I think it was the clock. I was wondering why there isn't a 201. I think we gotta cut that wall out. There it is. I made room. see anything I can work with here. Maybe I should let the Toad know where 201 is. Isn't that room 201 over there? Huh? Oh, you're right! Room 201! How did I miss that? Thanks to you, I was finally able to check in. But I've got a tea party to get to, so I got a jet! Ta-ta! Another happy ghost. Can't really do anything with this. What the? No! Don't even try it, you stupid mouse. I finally get the upper hand. Well, the clock rang. Therefore, I should probably go back to the other side. And maybe I can find that bird. How can the room be calling if there's no one in it? Dust doesn't gather under the bed in room 302. Did I... Did I take care of everything in room 302? Wait. I might have an idea what's going on. Maybe the reason why you can't get... There's no dust in 302. Maybe there's a hole? What the hell? Sorry for the delay, boys. I got caught and I had to take a leap off the balcony. But don't worry. I have... It. 
Ooh, so this is it, huh? Uh, amazing! Whoa, so it really exists! I, I've never seen nothing like it before! Mario! Where'd you come from? Don't tell me you're after it, too! Hold it! Leave this to me, fellas. You got a lot of guts coming here by yourself, Mario. I like your style. You and me. Mono a mono. Alright, you gotta take on a sledge, bro. So, big boy means big jump. No, 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 no. That's, I'm not done with you. Big jump, and maybe... I don't even know what else I could use. Maybe double regular hammers? This guy might have a lot of HP. Or maybe not. Give me it. So this is how it ends. If only I could have sat on it just once. Urgh. Boss! Run for your lives! You got it! That single red bird has shown up. Maybe just been a rumor. If you're trying to catch a bird, maybe this will help. Ha <laughs> Give me a break. Like any bird is going to willingly fly into a bird cage. Are you kidding me? It was a paratroopa this whole time. Unbelievable. Guess there aren't any red birds around after all. I don't really fancy dealing with any more Koopa paratroopas, so I'm gonna find a new hobby. You go do that. Can I go back into the basement? Maybe they're done with the linen towels? They're not done. Seriously? Uh, back to the third floor. Generally not sure if I'm doing this in the correct order or not. I have to look under the bed. Oh! We're closed for business, so slacking off is really the only thing I can do right now. Oh, I thought you were the one with the bird cage. Hold on a second. Whoa! There's a giant hole in the floor! That'll be a great place to hide next time I want to nap on the job. That makes perfect sense. Hello. I can't find them anywhere! I can't see anything without them! Aha! There was a crate in the way. Oh, I thought that needed to be colored. Okay. No. No, no, we're not doing this again. Did I get everything into a one? Yeah, it looks like I did. Alright. I oh, know it's a rat, not a mouse. Get it. The old-fashioned way. Oh, I saw that missed. 
What? Summon another one? Fine, I'll use two cards in case I shag it up again. And waste them, of course. Where the hell are these mice even coming from? Not mice, rats! The rats, Bonga, rats! Here's her it. We got it back for you! It? Ah, yes! This is it! Thank you! Oh, but look at the time! I'm gonna be late for my tea party! What is it, anyway? What? No! Oh. I'm sorry, you can't ride the Yoshi. It's a free animal now. God, you can hear the rats all the way from there, too. Did I get everything on the third floor? I'm pretty sure I did not. But what else could I get? I mean, just look for glasses. Have I seen any glasses? My beautiful red bird has flown the coop! Uh, is this the red bird that you mentioned? Ah, yes! My beautiful red bird! Thank you! I'm afraid I've got an appointment for tea, so I really must be going. Some of the spooky toads in the hotel still need our help. Let's talk to the staff and gather some clues. Okay. Yeah, I think we gotta go back to the first floor. I'm gonna double check everything, every room in here to see if I got everything or not. I think we should be good for now. Real one, however, might be the issue, as you can see. That one's still a bit messy. Let's go, let's go talk to the staff. Let's see what they know. It won't be long before I get another call from 301. It comes at the same time every day. The hotel is currently closed. There are no guests staying with us at the moment. All the rooms are empty, but we have staff on hand so we can reopen the moment we solve our problem. Do I literally have to wait? I hope not. That would be annoying. The dining hall is through here. I did see a rather spooky individual enter a short while ago. Oh, hello. Now that I know how to brew the perfect pot of tea, I want to get this tea party started it ASAP. I swear room 201 really was gone though. Either that or I'm really losing my grip. Thanks for getting it back from me. I left it on the table in 203, so feel free to take a good long look at it. Yeah, I, I, I see what it is. Thanks for finding my red bird. I've been thinking that maybe on my next pet will be a turtle. Staff and gather some clues. Oh, 
Why are the books stay put after I tidy them now? But now I don't have any work to do. There goes my job security. The internet, print edition. Time is not exactly advancing every time I re-enter a room, is it? It looks like it's actually advancing. So I walk away from the clock. the hell? Where are you going? What are you up to? I saw that toad go in the room. Or go up the third floor. Why would it go up the third floor? I'm cleaning up at the moment! Why would you look at this mess? How does it even get this messy? I love every grimy minute of it. Seems pretty sus to me. Should I have gone in the room before he got in there himself? Is that the deal with all this? Out again. It must be the chime for the front desk grandfather clock. Room 301 is always getting messed up. I don't really mind though. I love to clean. Hello? 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 Can't you hear me? Why don't you answer? Fine, whatever. The service in this hotel stinks. My bed sheets are all wrinkly and creased. So I have to so I keep calling the front desk to have them changed. But they never seem to answer. It's like they can't even hear my voice. It makes me want to tear this whole room up again just to get some service. Yeah, let me fix that for you then. Then give it a bad review online. Can't I just fix that for you? What if I just color them? I should just, like, ask them. Like, if I can't do it, maybe some, some of them can? Like, hey, it's not... It's a bit too wrinkly. I still need to find glasses. Where the hell am I gonna find glasses to? I've been doing this job for so long, I can sense when a room needs to be cleaned. But I noticed something weird when the dust doesn't gather on. Yeah, I've already been there. The silent phone calls from room 301 finally stopped. 
I got so used to them that it's kind of creepy that they stopped. Yeah, but where the frick am I gonna find glasses? Are those shy guys finally gone from that spot? They're gone! Hmm. These linens look quite flat. What? What the hell? That's a lot of shy guys. I do have a fuzzy beetle, though. Or a hammer, in case I mess up. Get him, Buzzy! Wait, I earned your sheets for you, sir. Yeah, and I ironed your existences. So suck on that. There are some fresh sheets. Back to 301. Hope that should fix this guy's issue. Cool it! We brought you some fresh sheets. Really? Well, hurry up and change them before I have a chat with your manager! Now change them for the fresh ones. There you go. Oh, that was easy. If only making a bed was that effective. <laughs> Ah, so smooth, so soft. How do you feel anything? You're a ghost. Thanks for a bunch of sheets. All I wanted is to slide around on them for a while. I would tip you, but you took forever. Later. What a prick. There, I'm gonna wrinkle them for ya. Piss me right off. I still haven't found freaking glasses. Let me go look around the second floor again. I know it's digging void. Well, then why are you in a birdcage? Check eight. Wait, they're on your head! Why didn't I do that earlier? My glasses! I can see you for days! I'm off to the party! Are you for real right now? No, no, no. No rat. Back away. But how am I doing for completion here? Oh, I got 100% of this place done! Cool! I can wrap things up here, I hope. That means they should all be in the dining hall. I will join them too. I'm glad you're here, Mario. 
Please guests rent to the room for a tea party, but their teapot has gone missing. Could you ask at the front desk if they've seen it around? There's a purple floral pattern on it. I'll see what I can find. Huh? A teapot? With purple flowers on it? I feel like I've seen one recently. Hold on. Nope, sorry. We don't have a purple flower teapot here. I'm pretty sure I saw one in Plum Park. That's the garden behind the hotel. Sorry it could be much help, but hopefully this mini paint star will raise your spirits. You have one, casually? Wow! Consider our spirits raised! We saw the paranormal puzzle of Dark Blue Inn! Now let's get that mini paint star, Mario. Okay. Wait, is that our first uh, mini paint star that it's of the purple kind? Yeah, I think so. Okay, Plum Park actually has two mini stars. Cool. Um, I think we're gonna try to take on this guy again. Alright, this guy again. Alright, so I know he can use scissors, but can also use rock. So I'm thinking rock would actually be good here. He hasn't used paper at all. I think that's how we're gonna get him. What? He can use all three? Well, I'm 0-2 against this butt monkey. Unreal. So he can use scissors, he can also use rock, and he can use paper. I'll be back. Just you wait. Alright, I guess I can stop the video here, and then the next episode we'll go to Plum Park. See everyone, thanks for watching.